Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on how to create simple drawings in LibreOffice Draw. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create simple drawings using basic shapes such as lines, arrows and rectangles, basic geometric shapes, symbols, stars and banners. You will also learn how to select, move and delete an object, use the ruler to set margins and align toolbar to position objects. Here we are using Ubuntu Linux version 10.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 3.3.4. Let us define the word object. The term object denotes shapes or groups of shapes used in draw, such as lines, squares, arrows, flowcharts, and so on. All the shapes shown in this slide are referred to as objects. Let us open the file Water Cycle that we saved on the desktop. We will first learn how to select an object. Let's say we want to select the cloud, so we will simply click on it. On doing so, eight handles become visible. Handles are the small blue or green squares that appear on the sides of the selected object. You will learn more about the handles and their use in later tutorials. Let's add some more objects to our drawing. Let us add a rectangle to represent the ground. In the drawing toolbar, click on basic shapes and then click on rectangle. Now move the cursor to the page. You will see a plus sign with a capital I. Hold the left mouse button and drag it to draw a rectangle. Now release the mouse button. Next, let us draw some arrows to show the movement of water vapor from the ground to the cloud. To draw a line, click on Line in the drawing toolbar. Move the cursor to the page. You will see a plus sign with a slanting dash. Hold the left button of the mouse and drag from top to bottom. You have drawn a straight line. A line has two handles. Now let us add an arrowhead to the line. We shall select the line now. Right-click to view the context menu and click on Line. You will see the Line dialog box. Now, click on the Arrow Styles tab and then click on the Arrow Style drop-down. This displays the available arrow styles. Select the first option named Arrow. Click OK. This will add the selected style of arrowheads to both ends of the line. But we need an arrowhead on only one end of the line. So first we will undo this change by pressing Ctrl plus Z. Right click again to view the context menu. Now click on the line tab. Here under arrow styles you will see the field named style. You see two drop down boxes, one for each end of the line. Click on the left drop down box and select arrow. In the right drop-down box, select None. Click on OK. Note that an arrowhead has been added to the top end of the line. We can also draw arrows using the Lines and Arrows option. Let us draw two more arrows next to this arrow. From the drawing toolbar, click on Lines and Arrows and select Line Starts with Arrow. Move the cursor to the Draw page. Hold the left button of the mouse and drag from top to bottom. It is easier to draw an arrow this way, is it not? Let us add one more arrow in the same manner. Pause this tutorial and do this assignment. In your file My Water Cycle, draw a line. Select the line and open the line dialog box. Under the Line Properties field, change style, color, width, and transparency for lines. Under the Arrow Style fields, change the arrow styles. Next, let us draw a star. Go to the Drawing Toolbar and click on the small black triangle next to stars. Let us select 5-point star. Now place the cursor next to the cloud. Hold the left button of the mouse and drag to the left. You have drawn a star. Now let us learn how to move and delete objects. To move an object, just select it and drag it to the desired location. Now release the mouse button. 
You can also use the up, down and side arrow keys on the keyboard to move an object. Moving objects is simple, isn't it? To delete an object, just select it and then press the delete key on the keyboard. The object is deleted. Isn't it simple? Now let us learn about the basic aids, the ruler and the align toolbar. The ruler is used to set up page margins and modify the units of measurement. The align toolbar is used to position the objects. The ruler is displayed on the top and on the left side of the draw workspace. To set the measurement units, right click the ruler on the top. You will see a list of measurement units. Click on centimeter. The measurement unit for the top ruler is now set to centimeter. Similarly, let us set the measurement for the ruler on the left. To make sure that the objects are drawn to scale, always set the same units of measurement for both rulers. You will notice that the active ruler is in the color white. The ends of the ruler represent the page margins values that we set in page setup. Let us see how the ruler displays measurements for objects. Select the cloud. Can you see two small start and end marks on the ruler? These define the edges of the cloud. If you move these marks on the ruler, you will notice that the figure changes accordingly. The ruler shows the size of an object on the page. It also enables us to position an object on the page and displace page boundaries. Let us move on to the next basic aid, Align Toolbar. We use the Align Toolbar to align the selected object to the left, right, top, bottom and center. To enable the Align Toolbar, go to the main menu and click View. Under the View menu, click Toolbars. You will see the list of toolbars. Click Align. You will see the Align Toolbar. Let us now see how an object is aligned when we use different align options. Let us select the cloud. On the Align Toolbar, click Left. The cloud is aligned to the left. Let us now understand the difference between the two options, Centered and Center. We shall align the circle to the center and then to centered. First, let us align the circle to the right. Let's select the circle and on the Align Toolbar, click Right. Now, on the Align Toolbar, click Center. The circle is aligned to the center position. The option Center centers the object exactly between the top and the bottom margins of the page. It does not move the object with respect to the page width. Now, from the Align Toolbar, let us select Centered. The circle is aligned to the center of the page. The option Centered aligns the circle to the center of the page. It moves the object with respect to the top and bottom margins and the page width. Now, we shall move the objects back to their correct positions as per our sample drawing. Remember to save the file before you close it. Here is another assignment for you. In my water cycle file, add a page. Create these two figures. Move them using the arrow keys. Select any object you have drawn and delete it. Use the ruler to measure the size of some of the objects. Then, use the Align toolbar and align the objects to the center of the page. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on LibreOffice Draw. In this tutorial, you have learned how to create simple drawings using basic shapes such as lines, arrows and rectangles, basic geometric shapes, symbols, stars and banners. You learn to select and delete an object and use the ruler and the align toolbar to position objects. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates for those who pass an online test. 
For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT-MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash nmeict intro. This tutorial has been contributed by Desi Cruise Solutions Private Limited. Thanks for joining.